Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 17 beta 3 re-released to developers today. This is what Apple did last year with iOS 16 beta 3. They re-released it and then they released the public beta. So we could see iOS 17 public beta very, very soon. Now this is available to all the same devices and along with this, Apple also released iPadOS 17 beta 3 re-release as well as macOS 14 beta 3 re-release and tvOS beta 3 re-release. We we didn't get one for the Apple Watch yet. Now, as you can see, this is not a huge update from the previous one at 377 megabytes. That's on the 14 Pro Max. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then we'll go to general, then about. And as you can see with iOS 17 beta 3 on the left and iOS 17 beta 3 re-release on the right, the build number is the same minus the last letter. So we have 21A5277J before we had an H. Apple would typically do this if they thought the previous build was more stable. So as you can see, we have the same number with a different letter that's from before. And this normally, if we go to a newer beta, maybe beta four, will have a higher number with hopefully a lower letter, meaning it's closer to a finalized version. So it's odd to see it this way this time around. Now, as far as what's new, well, there is no modem update in this and there does not appear to be any major changes. However, I do have some features to talk about as there's quite a few still in beta three to talk about. And in music, of course, we have those same features we had before, where if we're in a different song, tap the three dot menu on the right, we now have credits. So that's something we had with beta three. That's one of the major feature releases, giving more information about it. But the next thing we need to talk about has to do with standby. So I'll bring in a stand here. We'll place it sideways and let it just connect and go into standby mode. Give it a second here. And within standby mode, you'll see this version of the clock here. If we press and hold, we can edit this and change the colors. We now have dual tone colors here. So this has been an updated with beta three. It's also in the re-release. So if we want to use these colors, we can, and then close it and go into it and then they actually stay, even though there was a slight glitch there. So that's an update within standby. In settings, if we go to general, then keyboard, and under keyboards, you'll see I've added German. If we go to maybe Safari and we go to type, but we switch our keyboard to German, we now have quick path. So we can just swipe here and add whatever we want. I'm not sure what I'm saying is I don't speak German, but we have that option for quick path now. The same is true with Siri. If we go over to Siri and under Siri, if you change your voice to German, there's actually new voices now. So you'll see there's voice three. So we have four different ones and here they are. Hallo, ich bin Siri. Wähle die Stimme aus, mit der ich sprechen soll. Hallo, ich bin Siri. Wähle die Stimme aus, mit der ich sprechen soll. Here's voice three. Hallo, ich bin Siri. Wähle die Stimme aus, mit der ich sprechen soll. And finally voice four. Hallo, ich bin Siri. Wähle die Stimme aus, mit der ich sprechen soll. So you have those options to choose from in beta three within contacts. If we go to contacts, select a contact, we want to edit, tap on edit, then tap edit again. You'll see, we have our different posters tap customize, and we can customize either the photo or the poster and go to monogram. And we have a bunch of different color options. Now there's a lot more customization. We can change this around and you'll see different color options throughout. So if we go back, then customize again, go to contact photo. You'll see we have some color options here as well. So lots of different changes in beta three that weren't there with beta two. And if we go into spotlight search and we search for an artist, you can put in your favorite artist, whoever it is, you'll see the latest releases here for their albums with more information about songs and more. So you'll see the new speak now album by Taylor Swift and just more information about it. Now, as far as the release notes, we didn't cover that in the beta three video because it wasn't out yet. Apple took a long time to release that. If we go into the feedback app, and we go to recent activity, you'll see that we have our release notes, not only for iOS 16.6 beta five, but also iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 beta three. Now there's a lot of different issues still known in here. So lots of known issues, but over 30 resolved issues. So if you go through all of these and normally I bring this up so that if you're having an issue, you want to search here first to make sure that they're either aware of it or not. If they are aware of it, you don't need to submit feedback as they've already got it listed here. However, if you, if they aren't listed here, you want to submit that feedback. So you'll see for CarPlay, they actually fixed an issue for users and vehicles that support focus input with a knob controller or a track pad, the now playing screen may not 
correctly display which control is focused. That has been resolved in this update. So lots of different things they've fixed, but still quite a few known issues as well. In fact, there are some other bug fixes that people have already mentioned with the beta three re-release in particular to do with the keyboard. There was a lot of issues where it would just sort of overlay different things when you go into the keyboard. And so if you go to type Apple, sometimes it would just completely disappear where you actually couldn't type and hit go. That seems to be fixed with the exception of Intelligram. Many people are saying it's not working properly in that app. So maybe that app needs to be updated. As I mentioned before, HDR in Safari seems to be fixed. However, there are still a few bugs here. The notification bug is definitely still here, so you can see it just jump around. So that's kind of annoying. And they haven't fixed that yet, all the way from iOS 16. Also, live wallpaper is working for some people and not others. It just depends who you ask. We can take a closer look at performance as it's been pretty good overall running beta three. I've been running that since it released on my main device and going into different apps, loading different apps seems to be nice and fast. So no issues here. You'll see it just loaded and then went back to the main screen. If we go into the app store, everything just seems to work well. I haven't really had many issues there. Performance is good. The heat of the device, it's a little bit warm, but that's typical with betas, especially early betas right after installing them, they're processing a lot in the background. And just for those that want to know about storage size, this isn't using a whole lot of storage. However, it can go up and down depending on what you're using. If we go to iPhone storage, give it a moment to load here. You'll see I'm using about 97 gigabytes of storage overall, and the OS is taking up 11.11 .11 gigabytes of data, and the system data is only 1.07 gigabytes. This actually goes up and down quite a bit, so you may see a ton of storage being used here, but it will take time and it will go up and down. That's why it's at the bottom. It's sort of just cache storage that I wouldn't worry about, but I just wanted to share the overall size with you. Now, as far as battery life, while well, I have been using this as my main phone, like I said, if we go down to battery, then battery health and charging, you'll see I'm at 92% maximum capacity. And you can see my overall cycles here on the left as I've been keeping track of that. And my battery life overall has been better, I think, than the previous beta, but not great at all. You'll see I had three hours and 40 minutes of screen active time at three hours and six minutes of screen idle time yesterday and used over seven 75% of my battery the day before only two and a half hours or two hours or so today, one hour and 48 minutes. I have to charge this multiple times per day. And that's why the battery health has gone down because I'm cycling it so much because the betas seem to be using a lot of power, not just iOS 17, but iOS 16 betas too. I've run all of them, but it does seem better than the previous beta for me, but still not great overall. I did have some issues with connectivity overall. I turned off 5G for now since it actually seems to connect better and I've had less issues just running LTE. You'll see that here. If I turn off Wi-Fi, it should jump to LTE. There it is. And one other thing I wanted to mention is with the re-release, it seems that the data at the top is fixed at this point. So that's not going anywhere. If you're wondering if you should install iOS 17 beta three re-release, well, if you're on iOS 17 betas already, then absolutely you should do that. However, if you aren't, I'd probably wait for the public beta. We're expecting the public beta even maybe later today or early tomorrow. Apple last year released iOS 16 beta three re-release and then later released iOS 16 public beta. It was released around the same time and so far we haven't seen it. So it could be later today or tomorrow. As far as iOS 17 beta four, it could be next week or the week after, but typically next week seems to make sense as it's been a couple weeks. We don't know for sure as Apple hasn't said. Also iOS 16.6 RC is expected sometime next week with maybe a release the following week. So we're getting a lot of betas. We'll move to iOS 16.7 betas. That will probably be the last until iOS 17 is released sometime in September. As far as benchmarks, I did run them on the 14 pro max and sent over the beta three three benchmarks to the iPhone 11, just so we could see them. So they're both from the iPhone 14 pro max. You'll see today we have 2,648 for single core compared to 2,626. We also have a higher multi-core score at 6,790 compared to 6,670. So it seems to be improved. That's pretty great numbers overall, not a huge difference, but everything seems to be nice and smooth so far. If you've found any difference in beta three re-release or any other features, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.